Seeing as I don't have much time in the Airbus, I thought I would show off my ability to not crash this transport category jet. However, this would be a boring video if we just flew around in clear weather, so we'll make the weather worse each time we land. I got a new weather plugin recently that I wanted to try, and this seems like the perfect excuse to use it. So here we are in Hamburg, Germany, getting ready to depart on runway 23, right as the sun sets there. Wow, that just incredible. So I have no idea how to use the autopilot, so if you see me pressing buttons multiple times, that's usually why. So we'll line up here on runway 23, depart, and just do a standard left traffic pattern around. Standard ILS, come back in, uh, try to hand fly the first approach and the second approach and the third approach, uh, seeing how the uh, weather turns out. So here we go on runway 23, and I'll be back for the next approach. back again for the second approach. This time the weather is set to heavy rain. The wind is pretty light but the visibility is, as you can see, pretty diminished. So we'll go ahead and see if we can't repeat the same pattern around the airport. Get our lights on here, begin taxiing out onto runway 23 and make sure I didn't forget anything and we need a lot more power this time around to get going and uh, we'll be off again standard left traffic pattern 3,000 feet back on the ILS 2-3 
Difficult Terrain. Seeing as the last approach was too easy, we bumped up the weather to a modest tropical depression. The winds are yes, visibility is no, and it's raining as an added bonus. I will try to hand fly the approach, maybe I'll wait until a thousand feet, who knows. The parameters of a standard approach are kind of thrown out the window here since we wouldn't be released to fly in this kind of weather to begin with. So I'll do my best to try to hand fly this. I'll probably couple it with the autopilot uh, again until about a thousand feet and then hand fly the rest just so that it can at least get me stabilized. But uh, we'll do our best here. I turned off the left landing light there because uh, it actually is easier as you can tell to see, and that is a common technique that airline pilots will do, visibility being below a certain criteria. Some companies will actually have the procedures or they'll have the ability to turn off landing lights uh, on an approach to see the approach lights better. It'll just blind you if you keep all your lights on. But anyway, runway 23 will take off, fly around again. I'll try to keep it as stable as I can, but with the wind shifting, it's going to be a mess.
Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Too low terrain.